In this video we will show you how to control and level the playback volume in Odirvana. As we can see in the audio settings, there are two different volume controls in Odirvana. By default, Odirvana gives you access to the volume control of your output device. It means the DAC or system you are connected to via USB, UPnP or Chromecast. Most devices authorize this control by third-party applications, so the volume bar in the player is another way to control the volume on your device. If the volume bar is grayed out and you can't control it, this means your output device is not allowing Odervana to control it or simply doesn't provide the appropriate software feedback. The volume scale is in negative dB. This is usually in audio, since it is a logarithmic scale compatible with the natural perception of loudness. The volume doubles every 6 dB, and 0 dB or maximum volume is the nominal volume. This means the recorded signal is passed through as is, without recalculating the sample's value to lower the playback level. This is typically what you want to do when playing native DSD files, or because you use an analog preamp. When you hover near the volume in the player, a gear icon appears to open the volume settings. You can adjust the volume steps associated with the plus and minus signs. You can also activate them with your media keys on the keyboard unless another app such as Zoom or Teams is active. For your safety, you can cap the maximum volume in case your system can play very loud and you want to limit it. We included a gradual volume rise when you turn it up rapidly. This gives you some time to react if this sleep was not intended. The fastest move is to click here to mute the playback. We also added a max volume alert. If you start playing a track and the volume is above 90% of the maximum, a pop-up will ask you to confirm this is intentional. You can ask to no longer show this pop-up or even disactivate it in the volume settings if you want to play at nominal volume. If your output device is connected with a USB cable, you can activate the internal volume control as a substitution in the audio settings. This is a high quality volume software algorithm processed in 64-bit directly inside Odirvana and pass through to the output device. When activated, it will replace the output device volume control in the player, including in the remote app. If you want to use simultaneously both volume controls, then open the extended player and flip it to display the technical player. You have the software volume above the DAC volume and the two attenuations are cumulative. You can't activate the internal volume if your device is connected via UPnP or Chromecast because of network buffering. You can activate the volume leveling or replay gain in the volume settings whenever you want to listen to music at an even volume for a playlist or compilation you have created for instance. Each album or track has a loudness adjustment value in its metadata according to an industry standard that is used to level the playback between different tracks. If this value is for the whole album, it preserves the album dynamics between tracks as intended during the mastering. This value is provided both by Tidal and Cobas. Sometimes the replay gain value can be missing in your local library albums or tracks, but Odervana can calculate it for you. Here you can start analyzing your album's replay gain. You can choose individual albums or select them all and it will start calculating the replay gain as a background process. Once calculated, the album disappears from the list. And if you open its metadata, you can see the replay gain value has been added. Thanks for watching.